Like the video or I'll reveal your waifu's dirty, dirty secrets. Spoilers, by the way! Part 1. White Clouds. Pegasus Moon. Throne of Knowledge. Today's map is nothing if not interesting based on how many options are given to the player. The main gimmick of this map is to secure the crest stones, save them all, get rewarded. But you can just kill the boss and end the chapter immediately. This doesn't get you much XP, but it does count as keeping all the stones safe. The boss is close enough to kill her in one turn. You have your dancer, and in most cases you will have one of the few characters with movement spells. You will need a flyer in most scenarios to get up to the boss, but each house usually has a standard flying unit. Blue Lions might have the roughest time though with Ingrid's low strength. You can play the map normally, and if you don't care about the rewards, you can play slow and defensive to get as much XP as you want while keeping your units safe. The rewards in 3 houses for the side objectives have never been spectacular, this map being no exception. The gem knowledge is just okay, so it's no big deal if you're missing out. The map is exceptionally easy when you don't worry about the crest stones. If you break down how many units are just thieves that hone in on the stones and nothing else, the map becomes a lot less threatening. There's the large group having equal numbers that you go head to head with, but your units are at the point of one rounding enemies, so equal numbers don't really do anything for you. Then it's on to the two lines of enemies you slowly grind up to the boss, nothing particularly engaging. Then there's the third option. You want all the experience, you want all the rewards, you gonna risk it all and kill everyone while protecting all the stones. This route is chaotic and can be overwhelming. The game just shoves all the thieves at you at once. Look at this dickhead, look at this dickhead, he's stealing a stone. Oh, we got another one. Oh, who are you gonna kill first? These dickheads are near the bottom, where are they gonna go next? We got like 10 guys and two monsters to distract you as well, have fun. And it was fun dealing with the chaos and I felt overwhelmed my first time playing this map. But then the second go around, I take a few minutes to understand how the AI works and realize that the thieves will never initiate combat, just take the stones. And then the map became stupid easy. Just ignore the dickheads, who cares, who cares? Take out the group below you with little trouble and wait for them to come to you. When all the stones are collected they will rush towards the exit, which is at the bottom of the map. So they will just beeline towards your entire army if you're waiting for them there. It's child's play. This map has cool aspects in its design for all the diversity it offers the player, but most of the options can be easily abused into making the challenge almost non-existent. Also the map itself looks cool, but it's pretty open and linear, nothing tricky to navigate. Good ideas, just okay execution. 5 out of 10.